Welcome to a new Monday morning routine. It's Coffee with Strangers with Kelly Lemon. Hey, what's up? It's Kelly, and welcome to Coffee with Strangers. Today, I'm jamming over to Boho Cycle Studio in the Museum District to meet Boho's co-owner, Anne Marie Gross. Drink some coffee and talk with this girl from Nebraska about her life in Richmond. My first female stranger, Anne Marie, good morning to you. Thank you for sitting down and having oh, coffee with welcome. me. So I went and got us coffee from WPA Bakery, of course, because it's because it's wonderful coffee. But yeah. do you drink coffee? Every day. How do you like to drink it? Just black. Just black. We're in your place. We are actually at Boho Cycle Studio. Mm -hmm. We're an indoor cycle studio here in the museum district. We opened about a year and a half ago, okay. so we're still fairly new. Tell me about the name, Boho. Oh, just short for Bohemian. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't stand for anything. You no. know, the definition of Bohemian has a few things to it, but it's kind of like living an alternative lifestyle and pushing yourself, you know, out of that comfort zone. And Richmond is that though, which is interesting that you named it that because we, you know, some people, you have to live outside of your comfort zone mm -hmm. in order to experience all of Richmond. Where are you from? Where's mm -hmm. home? Smack dab in the middle of the U.S. I'm from Nebraska. Nebraska, okay. Yeah. So how did you I get know, your to face Richmond, is Virginia? So confused. Yeah. <laughs> You're not the first one that okay. gets me that. Okay, good, good, good. I grew up there. Grew up born in Iowa, Minnesota, and then grew up in Nebraska. Okay. And um, moved to Chicago after college. Lived there for about three years, working in hotels and restaurants. Richmond had an opening, and I was like, hmm, okay. Yeah. Never been to this part of the country ever. And then, like two years in. You know, I met some people and I made some friends and I didn't have winter like I did in Chicago. Okay. Uh, yeah, and is, now cool. it's almost 10 years. So how do you sell Richmond when your family from Nebraska is like, well, you know, we're thinking about coming to visit, but we really want you to come home. But yeah, I know. What's going to make me come We've to done Richmond? everything in Nebraska, so yeah. there's nothing new to do there. When my brother came to visit, he's like, I want to see the oldest thing possible that we have time to do in a day. So we took a tour of the Capitol, mm -hmm. and then we went to Tredegar. Mm -hmm. Ironworks, the museum down there. You don't realize how old things really are. In Virginia, yeah. <laughs> in general. Until you do something like that, yeah. and you're like, yeah. I mean, my brother-in-law wanted to stand where Patrick Henry stood in the Capitol, and he started reciting the speech because he knows it. And then there's always a great restaurant to find. I always find a restaurant I haven't been to. But I have met people that have moved here. They're like, this, I don't think I like it. This here doesn't have anything. It doesn't have whatever. And I was like, well, you're not trying. Mm -mm. And they just stare at me, and I was like, you're not trying. Mm -hmm. And if you try and then you can't find something, then you are welcome to divorce the city and move on. <laughs> yes, please. I, have, I get it. How do you live Richmond on the weekend? Yeah. And you're, you're like, I have mm -hmm. a Saturday and a Sunday, but I'm going to explore Richmond. How do, you, how do you live it? I do a lot of running down by the river, on okay. the trails. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a, I think it's that kind of thing. It's like I cover so many sections of the city. Yeah. I run around Richmond a lot. Okay. So I just moved to the north side. I'm a north side girl too. I <laughs> love it. I'm actually in Battery Park. Okay. I not love far it you at all. over there. Um, I had no idea that that like beautiful area with these old homes and these great trees and the awesome, like all of that was there. Name your top five places. Bacca's mm -hmm. is kind of a go-to place of mine. Mm -hmm. I, I get out of it from time to time and then I get back into it, but it's small and it's quaint. The food, yeah. is, the food is it's always good. good. Yeah. Um, Heritage is a place I go to a lot. Roosevelt is another place I go mm, to a lot. Yeah. Uh, and I think I am, even though I come from the restaurant industry, mm -hmm. I almost go for atmosphere. Okay. I can manage if my salad isn't that great, mm. but if I don't like the atmosphere, then my sa I can't handle anything else. So does that make you a foodie then? If, if you, if you, you know, like, yeah. are you a foodie? The word foodie is a weird word that yeah. I don't love. Okay. Personally. Okay. I like good food, I like to try new things, but if it doesn't have the feel of a place that I want to be. On your iPod when you're running, what's playing? Oh, I just made a new playlist for a race, um, and I had to laugh out loud to myself when I was going through like my iTunes. I'm like, why did you have this? And then I'm like, I didn't know I had that. Um, so songs that came up on my race were um, Fergie, Will I Am, uh -huh. Luke Bryan, some con I love some country, country. Uh -huh. Techno. We had some Kanye on there. We had Heavy D. I don't think I've ever heard anybody <laughs> say country, Kanye, and Heavy all in the same. But I know. that the that got you going. It was though. the best. Yeah. I love it. Any big projects or anything you're looking forward to coming up in Richmond? I'm actually just really looking forward to enjoying the summer. Yeah. 
mm. and spending the time, like I haven't gone to a festival in forever. I don't think I got a single porch day last summer or a good drinking patio day last summer. Wow. So those are my goals. That's a good, those summer. are good goals though. And north side, the porches, yeah, I'll, oh, be, I'll be out on mine too. So. They are my favorite. <laughs> To hear the rest of my interview with Anne Marie, check out Coffee with Strangers podcast on iTunes or Stitcher. And take a second to subscribe to this channel on YouTube so you can easily watch new episodes when they drop. And get over to our website, coffeewithstrangersrva.com, and binge watch our previous episodes. See you next week.